And we begin this newscast with a news alert coming in from Afghanistan, now where a car bomb attack in the city of Qalat has left at least 10 people dead. The bomb targeted an intelligence building and has left almost 90 people wounded, in addition to the 10 victims. A hospital in the locality was also affected during this attack. The Taliban has claimed responsibility for this attack and more than a week has now passed since the U.S. decided to pull out of the peace deal with the Taliban and the group had in fact warned of continued violence in the country. And so clearly this attack comes in the wake of it and now it looks like the terror group is following through on its promise. The terror group's spokesperson has claimed that this particular attack was squarely aimed at the National Directorate of Security. Now remember it was a similar attack that claimed the life of an American soldier and forced the U.S. to abandon the peace negotiations during the bomb that that the bomb attack that took place in Kabul. From Afghanistan, let's shift our focus over to Israel, which is in a political deadlock as election results have finally trickled in. The partial vote tally points to a tie between Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's Likud party and his main rival Benny Gantz. Blue and White Alliance. Now, with no majority in the 120-seat Knesset, large Benny Gantz is saying that Netanyahu has lost, but he hasn't claimed victory. For his part, Netanyahu says Israel needs a Zionist and stable government. Both leaders are waiting for the official results. <laughs> Israel is a Memshala Hazaka, Memshala Yatsiva, Memshala Tsionit. Katarno Mar, Shelefi had to say that Mr. Netanyahu, Lloyd's Lerbim Simator. 